Welcome to Night Rips. And it looks like our Willie Stargell uh, puzzle is coming together. Of course, where do you find a Willie Stargell pu a puzzle? Actually, out of 1991 Don Russ Series 2. So we are going to go ahead and rip six more packs, see if we can get any more puzzle pieces. I also, between videos, I usually go and do a recap of, or, you know, check out what I'm finding with the you know, from the rips. And although we haven't found the, the, any of the elite series, we haven't found a Sandberg autograph, which I honestly don't think I'm going to find either one of those. And we haven't found that legend, that, that Nolan Ryan legend. All of those are numbered. They are large numbers. Uh, the elites are 10,000. The Nolan Ryan's 7,500. The Sandberg's 5,000. This is a heavy printed set. So, chances of finding it still are pretty low but you know see if we can find one of these finish the willie stargell puzzle and also that highlight set that bonus card set that was basically one of the first examples of inserts in packs we have gotten five of those there is 12 so we are doing relatively decent so let's get ready and zoom in to open six more packs see what else we can finish with this puzzle and potentially if we find any of the other stuff. But before I do, I'm gonna invite you to join the channel, hit that subscribe button below, and hit that notify bell so you get notified when I put stuff up. So let's get ripping six more packs. Of course, I try to make these as quick as possible because there's not a whole lot here. I mean, I'm not gonna say there's not anything here. There's definitely some cool, uh, cards but you know we're looking for those special things there's another duplicate puzzle piece and that's what makes me worry about this willie stargell can we finish it with all the duplicates this year that there was not a ton of significant rookies but you you see the rated rookies now there's our ryan sandberg of course this is not the autograph this is just that mvp insert just to, uh, you know, who who is you had potential of getting MVP in '91. So let's take a look at Roberto Alomar. Of course, was still with the Padres. That was before he went to the Blue Jays and became a Blue Jay reg, uh, legend. There's Dave Winfield, one of his many stops. All right. Second pack, so nothing nothing crazy out of that one. I had to tear that pack totally up to get it open, but you know, we do have another duplicate puzzle piece. It really is making me worried that we're not gonna finish him. Well, he looks like he just came off of a bender. There's David Justice. Obviously he was rookie of the year the prior year. And the MVP Candy Maldonado. So we are pulling a lot of this if this is a subset, there's a few subsets in here, but that's so far the MVPs are the only ones that we're seeing. Barry Larkin, great one for the Reds. And, okay, so we did pull. Now this is this would be one of the award subsets. And of course this would be Barry Bonds, one of his five MVPs. So he'd gotten MVP in 1990. And definitely a much, this was when he was purely a five-tool player. He did, he lost some of his tools towards the end, but at that point he was just slugging it. So, oh, this is cool. I did not realize that they actually gave, so Bobby Bonilla was actually came in second. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a neat one. But that's, that's another subset. And so is this one. This is Mike uh, Sikosia, an uh, all-star for the American League, or sorry, National League. Yeah, he played for the Dodgers. All right, four packs to go. So we keep getting these duplicates. Every time I pull one of these duplicate puzzle pieces, it definitely worries me we're not going to be able to finish. It's 63 pieces to finish this puzzle. And, of course, 
we pull one of the highlights cards. This would be, and it's a new highlight, so this would be number six. But this is those bonus cards. Matter of fact, they even say BC is for bonus card on them. This is all for because Don Russ did not want to waste and have any blank spaces in when they printed all six of the sheets that made up the 770 cards because they print both series at the same time. This is the first time they actually broke it up into two series, but they printed them all at the same time on six sheets on 132 card sheets. So 770 plus 22 because there's 22 in this highlight set, even six sheets. Factory, you didn't get these. So these are all bonus just out of the packs, and we got another one. Cal Ripken. Of course, Cal Ripken has the longest consecutive game record. And honestly, because of the way the game's played today, will probably never be broken. So good for you, Cal. And I actually got to see him play in person back in the day whenever I used to go to Devil Rays games. And yes, I said Devil Rays because that was... Back in the early 2000s. Rafael Ramirez. He's a former Brave. Former shortstop for the Brave. Back in the 80s. Checklist. Rated rookie Turner Ward again. Not great rated rookies in this. So no one that we're truly trying to chase. Three packs to go. Uh, here we go again. Another duplicate piece. I have complete two partial puzzles instead of one full puzzle. Let's see. Anything cool? Paul Merrick, rated rookie for the Braves. Again, not, not anyone to write home about. Ben McDonald, good player. He was actually, uh, had gotten the Golden Spike Award. Basically the Heisman of college baseball. Ramon Ramirez, that's Pedro Ramirez's brother. And we got a Joe Carter MVP. Of course, MVP being, an, and actually we've got two of them, Joe Carter and Dave Justice. And I remember correctly, those are always together. Again, it's just how they print and cut. That's why when you when you think about when you see cards, you'll see them in an order. Uh, for example, one I remember a lot because everyone was trying to chase it, it was in the, oh Lord, I want to even say the blasters or the, the hobbies you would always see Corbin Burns, and right afterward, you'd see Wander Franco. That's in 2022 Top Series 1. And it's because those two cards were next to each other on the sheet. When they cut them, they put them together. That's just the way they are. They don't randomize those. Now they really only randomize when it's inserts. Another non-duplicate, or not, sorry, another duplicate puzzle piece. And... Speaking of when they randomize, if you think about it, when you start seeing short prints or inserts, if you notice they're either towards the back of a pack or in the middle, because they just split them up that way. So as they go, they'll put X number of cards, then they'll put all their inserts, and then they'll put the X number of cards, or they'll put them all in the back. That's why there's the orders of the way they are. So Eddie Murray highlights card. Of course, that's another one of those, uh, what you call it, the... Um, Bonus cards, and a Daryl Strawberry MVP. Yeah, once you start figuring out how they do it, now you never know what's in those, but it is kind of kind of an interesting knowing how they put that type of stuff together. And a Kevin Mitchell All Star National League. Of course, he was with the Giants, left fielder. Last pack. Are we going to get any numbers in this one? Who knows? Probably not. And unfortunately, six packs and all six has duplicate puzzle pieces. So no movie, no moving forward there. And that's an interesting... When you see that on the back card, Dr. Dirt and Mr. Clean. Um, I'd be curious. Let's We'll see what that is when we get to the end. So we got an interesting one that we can get to the end to see what does that mean. Of course, it was a regular numbered card, which means it's just a subset. I don't know if it's an insert or what. But Kirby Puckett again. Roberto Cle uh, Kelly. Uh, Clemente. Roberto Kelly, MVP. 
unfortunately, Clemente had been passed for almost 20 years by this point. All right, next card is that it's it's a Del Murphy and Len Dykstra. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it is a base card. That's that's a that's a real interesting one, huh? It's an interesting, definitely an interesting one to end the the rip on. And I've met Dell, and Dell honestly is huge, right? I'm probably not as tall as Dykstra. So that kind of looked real similar to the whenever I got a picture with him. But that's interesting. Of course, it's card number 744. So there was, you know, the 770 in the entire set. So there was other cards afterward. But that's a cool one. So we'll start the recap with this one simply because it's in my hand. And that is actually pretty neat. Don't know what they, what they called that one. I actually could go look that one up. But we did get some of the other inserts, or subsets, sorry, there's only one insert set. So we got some of the other subsets. We definitely got two of the National League All-Stars with Kevin Mitchell and Mike Sikosia. We got a bunch of the MVP cards. I mean, some of them we've seen before. Actually, I think most of them we've seen before. You know, Kenny Maldonado and Ryan Sandberg were new. Everybody else we've seen before. We did also get one of the award winners. And of course, everybody knows this guy. Obviously, he was a little bit larger at the end of his career. But, you know, this would be the home run king, Barry Bonds. And hard for me to say that, right, having Hank Aaron staring at me right there. But he has hit more home runs in a season and in, a, uh, in his career than what Hank Aaron ever did you know, have to bypass the fact that, you know, he might have been a little bit more enhanced. And then we did pull, and I did mention there was one insert set. We did pull three of those. Uh, we pulled Eddie Murray, Cal Ripken, and Terry Mulholland. I think two of those three I have, I don't have. So if that's the case, that would be seven of the 12 that were from Series 2. Made no progress on our puzzle, which does make me sad, but, I mean, it is what it is. But that's it. You know, a lot of base. I mean, that's that's 90s baseball. You know, there was three million of every one of these cards. You're going to find a lot of it. And you're going to find a lot of it still in the wild. So definitely a fun rip, but, you know, don't expect anything too crazy. But I hope you enjoy this. And if you enjoy seeing people open up old and new product definitely come join the channel, hitting that subscribe button right there below, and also the notify bell. Also appreciate if you give a thumbs up to the video, and if you have any feedback, drop in the comment section below. I do enjoy opening up any product. I mean, if it's baseball, I like opening it, and I love sharing it with you. So, until next time, bye now.